Hello YouTube, it's your girl Kimberly. I am back and in this video we are going to talk about body care. So somebody came into my comment section, asked me what I use for my body kind of routine and I thought I realized I never really made a video about this. So I mean I talk about products here and there but I never did a full here are all the things I'm using right now. So let's start summer 2021. Uh, my body care routine products. Let's get into it. So we're going to start off with body wash slash body cleanser um i use dove's deep moisture old school blue bottle um i love the fragrances unfortunately the way i usually purchase it is at costco in the three set because that's been like the best deal and the costco three set is cheaper than the two and the three sets at like target and walmart so i just stick with plain jane and i find other ways to kind of add fragrance into my care routine because this thing is amazing for the last year since I love shopping at QVC for jewelry and other things the last year I've been trying philosophies body washes because they look so much fun on the QVC and they're making the little bath and they foot suds up all the water in the bowl and her hands look great but um all over your body and for dry skin that's a whole nother review in another video but I, the Dove is my saving grace and it brought my skin back because I have been treating it bad for a year. But Dove, Dove, Dove is what I love, okay? Um, but in terms of shaving and shaving, <laughs> I love to use Purity Made Simple uh, Body 3-in-1 uh, Shower Bath Shave Gel. Um, it is a good enough body wash. Like, you'll be clean. You won't feel stripped. But it just isn't as creamy and luxurious as the Dove. So that's why I always go back to the Dove. I will, though, if I'm not paying attention, put this on my washcloth by accident and be like, mm, I'm not mad at it. Wash, whatever. But I love, love, love it, love it, love it as a shave gel. Like, I wish... I want to cancel my auto... I might cancel my auto delivery for this. But it is such an amazing product to shave with. Like, I've tried every shave gel, EOS this brand the male ones and it's just nothing has the slip and protects you from cutting yourself like this stuff does and i just keep her around so that's that on that so dove old school the original i like the fragrance ones too and i do buy those but this is just what i usually have and then purity body to shave um i also used it as a shampoo one time for an emergency and my hair was super dry, but it got the job done, got the gel out, which is what I was worried about. Okay, so the next things we're talking about is scrub and feminine wash. So, um, for the ladies, this is Honey Pot's normal foaming wash. Uh, what I love about this is that it's 100% natural and is cruelty-free, sulfate-free. And, um, you just shake, shake, shakey, pump, pump, pump three times and use the foaming wash there's also a sensitive one if you are sensitive um or if you're sensitive to fragrance and you just like everything sensitive especially down there you know it's be a lot going on sometimes uh so uh it has lavender vinegar and coconut um purified water sunflower seed oil like it's all kind of like natural ingredients and it is so much better than whatever you're using now, I promise you. Honey pot. This, this stuff is so hard to find because it's always selling out. I like every Target because it is so good. I'm telling you, try that out. So for exfoliator, I use European Wax Center Slow Body Polish with Hair Growth Minimizer Fragrance Free. Um, it's funny. I actually go to European Wax Center less now because I do sugaring and unfortunately they haven't started offering that yet. European Wax Center start doing sugaring. But um so I go to other places. However, when I went on my last trip, I booked my sugaring appointment for the wrong time and I ended up just having to go into European Wax Center cuz it was an emergency. Um, and then they upsold me on this. And it's funny, uh, normally I don't buy the suggestions because they're always like, oh, you should get this, you should get this. And it's like, mm, I should actually just get what I came in here for. So I'm trying to upsell me. But this time, um, I was kind of, also, they had an original version of this product with the red cap and the silver bottle, and I was horrible. And then after that, I was like, oh, I'm not buying anything from y'all because that stuff was a mess. 
so this is a new formulation new totally different product if you tried their old exfoliator that stuff was crap this stuff is amazing and it's totally different so it is um basically like a white cream and then it has kind of a little bit of the little physical exfoliants in there so they're 100 percent biodegradable beads that deter ingrown hairs and bumps um and it has a special slowing of the hair growth formula and it reduces hair thickness that is an accurate claim since i have been using this um from ever since i got it for back in the beginning of july to now it did decrease my hair growth i was able to wait longer before my next wax and it slows the hair growth i also use it to exfoliate my underarms and my legs slows that hair growth too so she does really work um not that i've had an allergic reaction from the fragrance ones but i just decided to go fragrance free so there wouldn't be any issue i love this stuff though so i just got to figure out how i'm gonna get it without going back to european wax center <laughs> I'm gonna see if I can buy it online. I'm pretty sure it's online. It has to be. If you know, leave it in the comments below. Body lotion. I use Nivea's Essentially Enriched 48 Hour. Not the light blue bottle Nivea. That stuff don't do anything. <laughs> the royal blue Nivea bottle with the 48 hours on the front. This one is the girl. I use this all over my body. Arms, legs feet everywhere and it is so moisturizing so nourishing and it really does last for 48 hours i mean granted you still need to because you're going to shower again you're going to need to apply lotion again but you will notice that after that second like if you shower put on nivea live your life shower you're going to see the quality of your skin be so much better and so much more moisturized than it would be with another lotion and that's why i love this stuff i buy the value size the big jumbo because i've been running out and then i'm upset but this is my favorite body lotion of all time um i have used other stuff intermittently but i always come back i've been using this since i was a kid and um it's just great love it does take a long time to uh, rub in though so use less and then rub more is going to be the strategy with that and then lastly we have oh been in over here I forgot to run my little table over so I could have the things ready. Deodorant. If you follow me on Instagram, you saw how I felt away about this Dove 0% aluminum deodorant that does not work and embarrassed me in the streets. <sighs> so embarrassing. So, um, I'm back to Native. So, I had been using Native. I started with the charcoal. Then I switched to, I started with the charcoal, everything was good. I switched to the eucalyptus mint because I like that fragrance combination. Destroyed my underarms. My underarms started scabbing and peeling and they were just like, girl, stop with this stuff. Like, do something different before we start bleeding. Then I switched to the lilac white tea, the, the light teal purpley one underarm said okay so we're not gonna crack up as much but we're gonna burn and we're gonna itch until you find something else so then i stopped using that one so then i switched to dove um well first it was an emergency and i went back to secret antiperspirant and i was like okay i'm gonna just have to use a little aluminum and till i figure out this deodorant situation because my underarms are itching and scratch are itchy and uh burning and that's just not good and i need to just go back to square one so i know that the secret antiperspirant doesn't break me out so i was able to use that and then kind of exfoliate my underarms clean my underarms um be really mindful of like just halfway in the day if i realize especially now if i'm not going outside the house like clean the underarms put your hydrocortisone and just and be in the house like take care of your skin so i did that for a while and now my underarms are back to normal so then that's why i tried the dove zero percent aluminum trying to find a new deodorant but it's not her but i have been very very happy with this sensitive skin um cotton and lily native this is my new fave she works when you sweat um, like I said, it's deodorant, it's not antiperspirant, so you feel the sweat, but you don't smell the smell, and that is what I don't like, is the smell. <laughs> so, 
um she's really been happy she's really been helpful with that um yeah so i like this deodorant Na native this is the sensitive cotton and lily so i think this might be my new zhuzh. we'll see i mean i tested her being hot and sweaty in the streets but now i'm gonna test her i'm about to go work out for the first time with her and see what happens because that's really the test because granted you smell when you work out but when i'm done i usually work out like in the park or like outside and then i have to come back so my thing is when i'm coming back how bad do i smell like i don't want to smell i mean clearly you're gonna see me i'm sweaty i got stains sweat stains and stuff it's clear that i worked out but do how bad is my smell that's the issue so this is what i use so if you have some body product recommendations for sensitive skin, um, please let me know. Although I do love my old reliables, I'm also into sparingly trying new things to see what happens. Um, some things that recommendations I can't take. Um, anything from Bath and Body Works. I can use it for like a week or two, but then week three, my underarms break out and my skin is red raw and it just does not work out. Even the creamy ones, for some reason, my skin just doesn't like it. I think it might be the fragrance. But, um, any other recommendations, I would love to try it. So, those are my body products. And, um, I guess since I'm talking about body and since you're here and watching, um, let me talk about kind of my routine, my strategy. So, every day is going to be a shower with the dove. It's going to be a shower with the dove. And get out, dry, put on the Nivea, put on the deodorant, live my life, right? That happens every day no matter what. Two to three times a week, I exfoliate. So that's where I take the European Wax Sensor Body Polish. And then after I cleanse, I will exfoliate legs, underarms. It usually ends up being my whole body by the time it migrates. It's like a soap. It's like everybody exfoliated now yay so so i try to do that two to three times a week um and then I also i guess i probably should have brought this but it's nothing special i have a pumice stone that i got from five below for like three dollars and i hit my heel with that um i try to do that every day when i'm wearing sandals and stuff in the summertime and unfortunately in the winter my heels get a little neglected but um I try to at least do it like once a week in the winter time. Um, and anything else? Shave. I like I said I use the Philosophy body shower gel to shave, and I probably shave. It just depends. I really just if I see a lot of hair, then I'll shave. <laughs> I'm not on a regular schedule as I should be. But um, looking into laser, thinking about it. Um, if you're black and you did laser, also in the comments, let me know what happened. How did it work out? Do you have sensitive skin? Did it burn? Were you scared? I'm scared. Um, yep, so that is it before I keep rambling on about nonsense. But yes, give me your recommendations for body products that you love, especially if it's a creamy shower gel that if you have really sensitive skin i would love for those recommendations because i want to switch it up i mean dove's good but you know there's a there's other products out here i just um would prefer not to test on myself so thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next video